Okay, so how do you, uh, how do you get a best-selling book? Well, you write a tremendous, exciting adventure story or science fiction. Uh, you make people laugh. Or you find that something was written in the 1930s, you bring it up to date, and then you add your name, Sharon Lecter. And she did. And what an extraordinary idea as we welcome you back to the McMahon Group. Uh, to take a piece of material written by Napoleon Hill in the 30s, the author of Think and Grow Rich, the best-selling success book of all time, but it was already there. Uh, and so you then said, I think I'm going to incorporate Napoleon Hill's work in Outwitting the Devil, but who was Napoleon Hill? Napoleon Hill wrote the book Think and Grow Rich, and it was released in 1937, Pat, and it's really the foundational work of most uh, personal development authors today. They all credit their success to, to Napoleon Hill. He was charged by Andrew Carnegie back in 1908 to study the principles of success, and he spent 25 years. And Think and Grow Rich was really the thesis of the steps to becoming successful that he shared from all of that study. It was really the, the report, re reporting the results of all of that research. But in 1938, the year later, he says, you know, I've shared all this information about how you become successful. But what's going to still keep people from becoming successful? What's going to get in their way? Well, in 1938, of course, one of the things that got in the way was the Depression. The Depression. Uh, how can anything from when Andrew Carnegie was uh, talking to Napoleon Hill or through the 20s and then into the 30s, how is any of that applicable to today? It's totally applicable. It's as relevant or even more so today than back then. We had the Great Recession. We had the World War. The way we got out of that was following the principles of Think and Grow Rich, those principles of self-determination, capitalism, starting your own business. Small businesses really turn the world around. And today we've had the same situation, a repeat of what we had back there. We have high unemployment. We have stress. We have a lot of fear in the world. We have an economic depression. Housing is down. We have the opportunity today to seize that opportunity and create value add value, starting businesses. And so these words of outwitting the devil, even though we wrote them in 38, they are truly what we need to deal with today. It's how you can confront your fear, how blast through that fear, and how to find the success that you deserve. But FDR started programs when he took over the nation and the economy uh, that consisted of putting people to work, building bridges and highways and infrastructure, and there's huge barriers now to the concept of doing that, even though that it's, it's been presented. Well, again, you're talking entitlement versus empowerment. And the whole word, the work, the entire body of work of Napoleon Hill is about empowerment. Teaching people to fish, don't give them a fish. Mm -hmm. And that's so important because if we, if we allow ourselves to be controlled, then we will be disempowered. If we allow ourselves to take control of our lives and move forward. If you're stuck in your life, if you know someone, if you have a child who needs to have a kick in the butt, if you have people that work around you that you think need to get off their duff and really take control of their own lives and not wait for someone to take care of them, this is the book for you. All right, but there are a lot of people out there right now saying, yes, I believe that, and I'm gonna do exactly what you did, Sharon, but I'm gonna take Charles Dickens' books and I'm going to put another cover on them, and I'm going to sell them, uh, as you did with Napoleon Hill. But you didn't really do that, did you? <laughs> no. I, I was asked two years ago to look at the manuscript because Hill's family, when he wrote it in 1938, his wife thought it was too controversial. And it was buried for over 70 years. Okay, but just a second. It's about, it's about finance and success and money. What's controversial? He talks about fear, and he talks about sources of fear. So he talks about organized religion. He talks about public education. He talks about sex. He talks about politics. And so the, his wife actually worked for the Methodist Church. So she was very concerned that it would be a little too provocative. And so she want, didn't want it published. Hill died in 1970. She died in 1984. Her sister died two years ago. And her sister's husband is the chairman of the foundation. And he said, I really believe that this is a powerful message. And it's even more powerful for today. How to face your fears overcome them and succeed. But what did you do? What is your contribution to outwitting the devil? Uh, the Secret to Freedom and Success is the subtitle of your book. 
for true Hill believers, they can read it un, unchanged because what I did was I annotated it. So I wrote his, his manuscript and then I added comments, again re reminding people that as they're reading it, that while it was written in 1938 on a manual typewriter, it truly is relevant for today. And so I draw the parallels to bring it and really bring it home on how you can apply these incredible steps in your own life today and succeed. If we're going awfully fast about a very complex subject, I don't blame you because I have to slow things down myself just to catch up with Sharon Lecter regularly when she visits. But you've got another uh, additional deal uh, coming up. You can visit with Sharon uh, when the National Bank of Arizona presents her June the 15th uh, at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Where? At the National Bank of Arizona Conference Center, 24th and just south of Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Biltmore Circle, I think it's called. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And then you're going to be talking about the book mm -hmm. and also specific things that people can do to walk out of that building and come back with lots of money for the National Bank of Arizona? Absolutely. This, it's, we have to be CEOs of our own lives, and we're going to talk about how to take control of your, your own life. Many of us know what we should be doing, and we're not doing it. And so we're going to talk about those barriers and those things that actually may be standing in your way that you haven't recognized yet. We're going to try and dig through and find those so that you can break through them and become successful. I've only got a couple of minutes, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to give you free commercial time because it just occurred to me you have done so many things besides the latest book, Outwitting the Devil. There are other books. Mm -hmm. Take 30 seconds talking about the other books. Oh, thank you. Well, Two years ago, we released um, Three Feet from Gold, which again was with the, in cooperation with the Napoleon Hill Foundation. And the, the foundation asked us to say, we need these principles of perseverance and never giving up brought into today's world. And so we talked to 35 of today's top leaders about not just their success stories, but about what kept them going in the deepest, darkest moments and how they persevered to become successful. And Three Feet from Gold was the product of that study that we did over several years. 30 seconds on the game. The game, Thrive Time for Teens, soon to be Thrive Time for Adults as well. Um, 30 years of my life of seeing things that people do wrong in kids, getting the elements of financial education. It's so important that our teens understand not only how to spend their money, but how to spend their time. We brought it all together, made it fun, humorous, engaging in experiential learning. The kids sit around the table and they have a great time. And at the end of the hour, they understand more about money, they understand financial statements, they understand assets, and they understand that how they spend their time is going to determine whether they're successful or not. Where do we find out about the game and the foundation and Sharon Lecter stuff in general? SharonLecter.com. You can go to PayYourFamilyFirst.com. The book has a site all to itself called OutwittingTheDevil.com. Come visit me. I'd love to hear from everybody. Oh, for those people right now who are saying, that, you know what? I'm so bad with names. Sharon Lecter, Sharon Lecter. It sounds so familiar. 30 seconds on Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I founded the company with Robert Kiyosaki back in 1997. We wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad and 14 other books together in the Rich Dad series. And we're blessed with great success because people found value in it and shared it with other people. We got another great book. Again, it was really on the premises of Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill really talked about pay yourself first, the concept of creating assets and creating value. So it all really, if you think about mastermind principle, if you think about pay yourself first, you think about uh, all of those elements of positive law, positive attraction, those all started with Napoleon Hill. If you, um, it, it, by the way, if you right now are kind of depressed because the book you wrote didn't do too well. Wait 70 years. Sharon Lecter will pick it up, add some notations, and make it a smash as she has with Outwitting the Devil, The Secret to Freedom and Success. Napoleon Hill started it, but Sharon Lecter picked up where he left off, and then she appeared on the McMahon Group to talk to you about it. This is Pat McMahon. We're going to be talking sports and all the things that have happened over the weekend and will happen tonight and in the near future. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks, I don't care.